What's up guys, More Medic One here and I have got a Kawasaki engine with an oil filter that is on there tighter than the bark on a hickory tree. Now if I have to get out what I like to call the claw, if I gotta get that out buddy, that thing is on there and on there. What this thing does is it expands and goes around the filter and whenever you start tightening down, it literally just bites in and, and crushes that filter. And that's the only way sometimes you can get these off. This sucker is on there tight. So let's try to get this off with what I like to call the claw. down on these I put a little uh, assembly goo on my gasket you can just put oil but once it makes contact just you know I have to turn around to three quarters of a turn and that's flipping plenty <clears throat> so we're about a half to three quarters right there part number on my filter wrench is uh, well it's a motive X and it's MX two three three oh and i've used the dog poo out of this thing it fits those little small kawasaki filters uh to about the i don't know the the briggs and stratton colder filters that are a little bigger around it's perfect for those so just about any small engine oil filter this will work great i've even used it on my impact wrench before and it hasn't destroyed it yet this little FH350 only holds a quart and a little bit. With a filter, it holds about a quart and a quarter. But we're gonna pour a quart in here and check it. Let it warm up just a little. As you can tell, we're only at the second dot. It needs to go to the first dot. So it's about a quarter of a quart. Oh yeah. We're good now. Just a, I mean, just a fraction over. That's not gonna hurt. Guys, I hope this helped you out. And I don't like to review tools that don't work. This one works link in the description and in the comments and if you're watching this on tiktok the link for this will be in the bio y'all have a good rest of your day more medic one